Have you ever wondered about the seven wonders of the world? Imagine a time when towering monuments and breathtaking structures were crafted, not by machines but by human hands. The seven wonders of the world, each a testament to the ingenuity and determination of ancient civilizations, continue to captivate us with their intrigue and grandeur. From the towering heights of the Great Pyramid of Giza to the awe-inspiring beauty of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, these wonders have stirred a sense of wonder and curiosity for centuries. These magnificent structures, despite their age, continue to inspire a sense of awe and fascination, pulling us in with their mystique and the desire to learn more about their creation, their purpose, and the civilizations that built them. So, buckle up, history buffs, architecture enthusiasts, and lovers of mystery and adventure. Join us as we embark on a journey back in time, exploring the seven wonders of the world. Our first stop takes us to the sands of Egypt, home to the Great Pyramid of Giza, this colossal structure, constructed over 4,000 years ago, stands as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of an ancient civilization. It was built as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, and it's a marvel of engineering that continues to baffle scientists and archaeologists to this day. Imagine a workforce of tens of thousands, toiling under the Egyptian sun, placing two and a half million stone blocks with such precision that even modern technology struggles to replicate it. Each block weighing an average of two and a half tons was placed with an accuracy of just a few millimeters. This precision, combined with the pyramid's alignment to the cardinal points, showcases the ancient Egyptians' advanced understanding of mathematics and astronomy. The Great Pyramid was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. Its grandeur is not merely a reflection of its physical size but also its symbolic significance. It represented the pharaoh's journey to the afterlife, a testament to the ancient Egyptian belief in immortality. What's truly remarkable about the Great Pyramid is that it's the only one of the original seven wonders of the ancient world that still stands today. Despite centuries of natural and man-made adversities, it remains largely intact, a silent witness to thousands of years of human history. Imposing and timeless, the Great Pyramid of Giza continues to inspire awe and wonder, Next, we journey to the legendary Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Imagine a lush, verdant oasis suspended high above an arid desert city. Cascading waterfalls, exotic flora and towering stone terraces draped in greenery. This is the vision that comes to mind when we think of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. But what if I told you that these spectacular gardens, as vivid as they are in our collective imagination, might never have existed at all? That's right. The Hanging Gardens are shrouded in mystery and intrigue. No archaeological evidence of their existence has ever been found. Not a single stone, not a single seed. Yet they are described in such detail by ancient writers like Diodorus Siculus and Strabo that it's hard to believe they were purely the stuff of legend. These writers paint a picture of a paradise created by King Nebuchadnezzar II, who supposedly built the gardens in the 6th century BC for his homesick wife, Queen Amidus. She longed for the green hills and valleys of her homeland, and so the king created an artificial mountain filled with beautiful hanging gardens. Whether a product of fact or fiction, the hanging gardens of Babylon continue to captivate us. They represent the human capacity for creativity, ambition, and the desire to make the impossible possible. A testament to the human imagination, the hanging gardens of Babylon remain a captivating mystery. Our next wonder takes us to ancient Olympia, the site of the magnificent statue of Zeus. As we delve into this grand marvel, it's hard to comprehend its majestic size, standing at a towering 40 feet tall. This colossal statue was not just a representation of the king of gods, it was a testament to the skill and precision of the ancient Greek artisans. The craftsmanship of the statue was beyond compare. Created by the renowned sculptor Phidias, it was a masterpiece of chryselephantine sculpture, a technique that used gold-plated bronze and ivory. This resulted in a stunning display of Zeus, seated on a grand throne, his skin of ivory shimmering against his golden robe and sandals. The statue of Zeus held immense significance in ancient Greece. It was a symbol of reverence, a tribute to their supreme deity, and an embodiment of the power and grandeur of the civilization itself. Though lost to time, the statue of Zeus continues to symbolize the power and grandeur of ancient Greece. We now journey to the ancient city of Ephesus, home to the stunning Temple of Artemis. This breathtaking structure built and rebuilt multiple times over centuries was much more than just a temple. 
It was a symbol of resilience and a testament to the enduring spirit of the Ephesians. The Temple of Artemis was a grand edifice, a marvel of architecture with its towering columns and intricate carvings, a spectacle of unparalleled beauty that left visitors in awe. This magnificent structure was not just a place of worship, but also a marketplace and a bank, making it the beating heart of Ephesus. Its repeated construction and destruction echo the city's tumultuous history, each rebuilding a testament to the undying will of its people. The temple, in its glory and grandeur, was a beacon of civilization, and a testament to human creativity and architectural genius. The Temple of Artemis stands as a testament to human resilience and the pursuit of architectural perfection. Our journey now takes us to the ancient city of Halicarnassus, where the mausoleum once stood. With an aura of mystery and grandeur, the mausoleum was more than just a tomb. It was a testament to the power and wealth of Mausolus, the ruler of Korea, whose wife Artemisia II commissioned the structure after his death. Imagine a colossal structure, reaching nearly 140 feet skyward. The mausoleum was a perfect blend of Greek, Egyptian, and Lycian architectural styles, showcasing the best of the ancient world. The lower half resembled a Greek temple, decorated with intricate reliefs and sculptures, while the top was pyramidal, a nod to the Egyptian influence. But the mausoleum was not just a beautiful monument, it was an architectural marvel, a pioneer of sorts. Its design influenced countless buildings in the following centuries. The term mausoleum itself, now used to denote grand tombs, originates from Mausolus's final resting place. Despite its destruction by a series of earthquakes, the mausoleum has left behind a legacy that continues to inspire. Fragments of its sculptures and reliefs have been preserved and can be admired in museums across the world, allowing us to glimpse into its past glory. Its influence is visible in many modern structures such as the United States Capitol building and the Grant's tomb, proving that its impact transcends time. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus remains an enduring symbol of grandeur and architectural innovation. It is a testament to human creativity and the desire to immortalize ourselves through the structures we leave behind. We now arrive at the island of Rhodes, once home to the towering Colossus. This colossal statue stood tall, embodying the sun god, Helios. It was a beacon of bronze that reached a stunning 70 cubits high, roughly equivalent to a modern-day 20-story building. Constructed in the late 4th century BC, the Colossus was a marvel of engineering and artistry. However, its life was surprisingly short-lived, standing for only 56 years before succumbing to a devastating earthquake. Yet, the brevity of its existence did nothing to diminish its grandeur. The Colossus of Rhodes became an inspiration for future monument designs, including our very own Statue of Liberty. Its legacy lives on, not just in these physical manifestations, but also in the minds of those who marvel at the audacity of human ambition and the pursuit of architectural excellence. Despite its brief existence, the Colossus of Rhodes left a lasting impression on the world of architecture. Our final stop takes us to the ancient city of Alexandria, where the famous lighthouse once stood. This was no ordinary lighthouse, it was the Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the tallest man-made structures for many centuries. Its design was truly marvelous, a three-tiered tower that reached an estimated height of more than 300 feet. An octagonal section sat atop a square base capped by a cylindrical top, where a mirror reflected sunlight during the day and firelight by night, serving as a beacon for passing ships. A lighthouse, yes, but it was more than just a building. It was an embodiment of human ingenuity, a testament to our ability to conquer nature and bend it to our will. This ancient marvel was built to serve a purpose, to guide seafarers safely into the bustling port of Alexandria. It was a navigational aid, a lifesaver, and a symbol of security to those out on the open sea. Its significance was profound. Not only did it play a crucial role in maritime navigation, but it also symbolized the city's economic power and technological prowess. It was a beacon of progress, a shining light of civilization in a world that was, at times, dark and treacherous. The Lighthouse of Alexandria may no longer stand, but its legacy lives on. It continues to inspire architects, engineers, and dreamers around the world. It serves as a reminder of what humanity can achieve when we dare to dream and strive to create. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, a beacon of human innovation, continues to inspire 